This is, um, uh, hopefully I can get through this in a 10 minute section. Giant Steps, um, kind of, you might think of this as mastering the fingerboard comp wise, but maybe that's an overstretch. Maybe it's just what I think of as mastering the, keyboard, the fingerboard at this point in time, or maybe it's mastering it within my capabilities. But um, the tune Giant Steps uh, is the changes in it. We're going to forget the melody, but we're going to play it, um, play the changes in it. And the fact that it goes through the series of, of very unconventional, at least you know, compared to modern pop music, changes, um, it, they're called Coltrane changes by most people these days. They've become so recognizable. Um, but it's moving through a series of major thirds. I've done a video on um, Giant Steps before with simple melody and simple changes. What I'm hoping to do is show in this video how you can use those changes to master you know, three segments of the fingerboard independently and um, and uh, hope and then be able to um, you know gain some dexterity in your jazz comping by using this tune as an exercise. So here it is in three chunks. I'm going to do the lower fingerboard first, and again I'm going to be using the same types of um, chords that I always do, and I'll just I'll just play them for you. I'll do a two. I'll do the two, the five, and the one in the key of G, so you can see what I'm using. The two, A minor eleven. Or, or, that was A minor 11, A minor 7 straight up, and A minor with a 9 in it. The 5 chord, if it's a straight 5, I'm going to be using the straight 5 uh, voicings that I use all the time. In this case, maybe uh, D. Sure, maybe I did. Here, there's the one I'm thinking of. And then the one chords are going to be major. Going to be thought of as major seven, major eleven, uh, major seven sharp eleven, major seven with a thirteen, something like that. So they might this G might be. There, that's it. The sharp eleven. Or major sevens, or major seven with a thirteen this way, or major seven with a nine. No third in this case, but if you want it with a third, with no nine. Now this is a B minor chord, but basically it's the top half of. So it's a G major seven with a nine in it. So it's going to be, you know, those types of those types of voicings for this whole thing. So let's look at the, the, the fingerboard in, in sections. Hopefully you guys have a chart of giant steps so you can follow through, but I'll try to call the chords out as I'm going. Bottom section is going to be down here. There's our starting chord, B, but it's going to be B major 7, and it, the melody is... That's where we're starting, but we're, I'm just going to play the changes for you. B major 7, D7. G major 7. B flat 7. E flat major 7. through a series of two fives in E flat, G, each of these with the alt chord in the five, by the way, B, F. Now we're going to go back to the top, and I'm going to move up 
a whole a voicing to get to the new to that B, B uh, major seven. So we're moving from here again. I'll do this again. two, I was going to go, no, yeah, right, move up a whole sequence. So now let's go to the second sequence, B flat major 7, D7, which is a 9, G major 7, B flat 7, E flat major 7, 2, 5, and G. G major 7, E flat 7, E flat major 7. Now this time we're going to play an F7, F sharp 7, to your back to your B major 7. Now a series of two fives. That's E flat, that's a two, two five and E flat. G. These last two, the, e, the two five and E flat, instead of doing it there, we're going to move it up to the next sequence, which is going to be, and then a two five and to this B major chord. Let me review that first chunk. start the sequence over, but up in this position, B major 7, D7, G major 7, B, se B flat 7, E flat major 7, 2, 5, and G, G major 7, E flat major 7, E flat major 7, F sharp 7 to B, now through your series of two fives. C flat. That's G. That's B. Back to E flat, but we can go up here and play it in E flat. Up. Then your two five in B. Now you're back to where you were down the fingerboard. For how many minutes you got into this? I'll try to play through one more time.
segment. segment. Ah, uh, shoot. I lost my place. So that gets you through all that. Again, I didn't do a very good job, but it's something that when you noodle around with it, you can find that you can play bluegrass rolls on it, you can play just little, you know, kind of just arpeggiated things. There's all kind of things you can do. It's a beautiful set of changes, full train changes, giant steps. In three segments of the fingerboard. <laughs> 